all this is isha here from isha's crafty side and today i'm here with the uh, rocky tutorial for you all so um i know you all will be shocked uh, to hear that word because i know most of uh, the um non indian crafty friends of mine don't know what is a rocky so i would that's uh, just like to brief you about it it's like uh, you know we have a festival celebrating the brother sister love in india which is called raksha bandhan and it is like uh, we tie rocky it's just like a uh, what do you call a bracelet type of thing so it's very it's uh, thought to be very sacred and uh, we tie i mean the sisters tie uh, rockies to their brother's wrists to uh, you know like asking god uh, for their protection you know so when you tie a rocky it's like a, a protecting um, you know thread to your um, brother's wrist and uh, in turn the brothers give gifts to the sisters and so that's all about the festival of Raksha Bandhan and it's been celebrated all over India in a very very large scale and uh, you know at time as the time went over um, the Rakhis have become more and more uh, decorative and very very fancy so when you stay in india you get a lot of lot of options there <laughs> but uh, when you stay out of you where i mean out of india i'm so sorry and when you stay out of india you don't get much readily available so i usually you know make uh, my rockies for my brother and then i send him to india okay and yes we send some sweets also to our brothers so uh, for everybody you know now it's in uh, usa and everywhere you get rockies but i don't know somehow i like to make my own rockies being a crafty person and my brother always appreciates my handmade rockies so today what i thought was that i will share with you all uh the rocky what i'm gonna make and i can teach you all how to make a rocky because it would be very very um useful for everybody uh you know because the festival is like uh, coming soon so this might be the time when you must be like preparing for rakshabandhan so i'll just share with you all the rocky i made this is one of the rocky i have made and usually we use all the traditional colors so i just made this in a very traditional red and green color so this is one i have made and this i have made using this velvet ribbon i had got during christmas so that's there and i'm gonna make a very similar one with you all today okay so for that you need a type of fabric you want it might be a satin ribbon you want or you want any fabric which you have so this i made out of a velvet um ribbon so that's there over here but now i think i'll just do with the uh, fabric i have with you all so whoever doesn't have the ribbon can do with the fabric so this is just a scrap fabric i had uh, when my daughter was young i had made some beautiful uh, fabric slippers for her when she was a newborn so i had a scrap of that fabric so i'm gonna use this fabric and you're gonna need uh, some uh thread a matching thread so that's there and you're gonna need some needles which is like here I'm gonna put it here so you need a thread you need a needle you need some kind of uh, centerpiece as I have used here it's a button and I've got some buttons more over here so I'll be using that or you can use some beautiful uh, beads as you want at the center okay so basically we're gonna make this base for it so for that you need some sort of circle or this is just a bottle cap I had in my stash which is like perfect for me and if you have a stencil you can uh, use that too so um, you know it's like one and a half inch of a circle okay so I'm just gonna trace this on the fabric over here like so basically I just want to have a circle so I'm using a marker there so that's the circle I've got and now I'm gonna cut the circle out it's very very simple so i hope everybody tries
so yeah that's the circle cut down and I have uh, many requests to do a slow video <laughs> so I'm not gonna do a, a fast play mode over here okay so now I'm gonna take this thread and sew my needle oh sorry thread my needle huh, finally got it okay so I'm gonna just double this thread it's a very very strong thread so I can just use a single layer too because it's really a very very strong thread which I could not break with my hands too I think see it's a dual duty one so it's gonna be strong <laughs> okay so now I'm just gonna um, knot the end over here and I have uh, zoomed in a lot so that you all can see what I'm gonna do now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a running stitch at a regular interval all around like so and please try to take a very rhythmic stitches which should be like of equal length and at an equal interval as much as you all can it will really give a nice effect so I think you all can see this in a fast play mode. <laughs> Just taking a running stitch over here. Okay, so here you go. And then uh, just get hold of the knot over here, which you had made at the end. I suppose you all can see it. And just pull out pull out both the ends in the between like in the center like so like so and you will get something like this try to get the uh, the things at the center this way and then what you need to do is tie a knot over here with using both the ends I think as you all can see it here so now I'm just gonna tie a knot Okay, and it should be a very tight knot so that uh, the flower or the base doesn't get loosened up okay I think this uh, is also called a yo-yo flower I thought that I can use a yo-yo flower to be the base of my rocky so now it's all done I'm just cutting off the thread over here now and as you can see we have got a nice pleated base so if you want to use you can use this as a center or else you can use this as a center but for this one what I did was I have used this pleated one as a center because I really really like the look how it is you know so I'm gonna use this pleated one as a center and I'm going to so this beautiful bead over here at the center okay um so if you want to make uh this rocky just as i did this one would you uh, i just took this beautiful decorative button i had in my stash and i just sew this button on the top of this and then added a rhinestone to it to make a beautiful center okay so that was how i made this uh, and you can also do it like this but I just di didn't want to you know I mean increase the um, height of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sew this one the only thread I make my rakis very very simple because that's what like that is how my brothers like it <laughs> you know so I'm gonna do a double uh, flower so I've taken this beautiful velvet fabric I had in my stash and I have made a bigger circle to it and this must be like a quarter inch more uh, 
to the diameter I think this is two and a half no it's like an inch more okay so I'm just gonna cut this off So yeah, that's done. So that's the center of the raki. And now what I'm thinking is I'm gonna uh, add a thread. And the threads what I use for this one is just the cotton threads. Uh, I think these are the embroidery threads. And these are best because they are very sturdy. So for this one I had used this green. And now for this one I'm thinking to use a pink one so i usually use the double strand one so i'm just gonna take out two strands of it now what i do is i take the two ends and tie a knot over here with each other like so so that the strands are secured like this as you can see okay i just cut off some extras even it or the even the thread at the other end then tie a knot here so that's there and now just put it down this way and look for the center of it the rocky at the center like so and and then I just sew it down over here with the threads easy right 